Kia ora, no mai, hari mai, tulofa lava, malo alei, and welcome to Fred Jones Park here in Kitty Kitty Roa Hamilton. It is the Waikato Draft Premiership match between Hamilton Old Boys as we see the home side run out. The usual red and white, uh, black and red, sorry, I'll get my words right at some point today, hopefully. Against Hamilton Marist. My name is Bevan Jenkinson of Bev's Broadcasting alongside me for this one, Chris Tane. Tane, how are you going, Chris? Yeah, good thanks, Bevan. It's uh, good to be back. Uh, tēnā koutou katoa. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I'm really looking forward to uh, this grudge match between two Hamilton Hamilton squads. So it should be a really, really good game. Yeah, of course, um, if you want to catch the Fraser Tech versus Melbourne match, that one started about five, uh, at 2.15, half an hour ago. Uh, last time I looked, 5 0 Fraser Tech were leading. You can catch that live stream over on the other uh, video, live video going on on the Wakato page. Catch Minty, Foxy, and Joel in, <coughs> in action over there. I'll uh, reset the time. Haven't actually missed anything, folks, even though that does say, I actually can't even say it says 18, so that's probably a good thing, Chris. It is, it is. Um, look, both these two teams are looking to start off the second round uh, with another, with a good win. Uh, they both had a good game in the first round. Uh, yeah, dominated, I've been told, dominating the forwards by um, old boys and dominating the backs by the, by Maris. So it'll be very interesting to see if, uh, you know, uh, how, how that makes the equaliser and what makes the difference. Absolutely. Well, they're two contrasting teams. You know, they've got a bit of size, both teams. So we're looking at a bit of um, running rugby with the, the beautiful weather we have today. Ben Brownlee, the man in, the man in the middle with Whistle, assisted by Cobus Fenwick and Josh Bull. Just checking to see if everything's happy. I'll be your cameraman today and your play-by-play. -play. And Chris adding his valuable comments. Gets the game underway. Kicks off down to towards Paranui Hawera. And Monum just made a little knock on. No, he hasn't. Play on is the call. He kicks it down deep to the left wing of Old Boys. He will turn the kick. Bit of an up and under going on. Gary on. Hawera sitting underneath it. Takes it cleanly. Gets out of one tackle. It's brought down about 10 metres outside of zone 22 at the moment. Now up to the open side. Keaton Neal's playing halfback. He's one of his forwards, but some good tackling coming in there by the number eight for Old Boys. Now they're setting up to make some clearance. Might come in for a box kick here from Neal's. It is. It's it down deep. And it's out on the full. An early mistake there from the visitors, Chris. Look, Hamilton Old Boys would be very happy with that. The uh, the defensive line was was really really strong, and they put them under pressure. We've got a bit of wind that's coming sort of uh, across the field, and that's it's almost in that top left hand screen yeah. into our faces, basically, yeah, isn't and, it? And that's sort of probably what Keaton was looking for, and it's, he's overcooked that a little bit. Old Boys with a throw in into the midfield, strong line. He's through. That's a great start for Hamilton Old Boys. Tui Vanuval running a, a, a chopping line and it's just opened up the defence. Well, that was quite interesting. I think he's got one, had one finger laid on him the whole way yeah. through. Look, Maris to be definitely unhappy with that. Very soft try that one. First up, Old Boys leading 5-0. Kick to come. A couple of minutes into the game so far. Yeah, that, that, that was built off a, a good uh, the defence um, in that first bit there, and then there was a mistake from Hamilton Maris. And then, yeah, just straight off set piece. Set piece line out. Just outside centre, and he's, he's banged it through. So, there goes the conversion. 7 0 to Hamilton Old Boys. If you're wondering where we're situated, folks, we're uh, um, in the back of the Barrett Brian Perry stand here at FMG St Wakato Stadium. Pleasure to have your company wherever you are tuned in. And uh, do realise there's just a bit of a problem with the scoreboard there, folks. I'll get onto that as quick as I possibly can. 7 0, Old Boys leading after about three minutes. And uh, this year I saw in the Bees game, Chris, no balls. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You do need one to play some uh, code. Well, Maris have a bit of a, the, the wind behind them here. And 
going deep into the 22. Oh, that's it. Both kickoffs not being taken cleanly, do you? Right. Bit of communication here, issues as old boys are trying to get out of the 22 at the moment. Just on it, on it, on it for now. Actually, this ruck might be just forming outside the 22, so it can't be kicked out on the full. Fox kick coming in from Old Boys half back there. And Old Boys might have cleaned this. Yes, they have. It's gone back off them, so Bound is the call. And they have it. 13 metres inside their half at the moment. Well, the sweeper going around the uh, Waikato Stadium here, so do apologise for any background noise. Kick through from Old Boys, but cleaned up there at the back by Marist. Drag down. If you've ever watched one of the live streams here, folks, at Fred Jones Park, you'll know that there's a tree that gets in our way. And oh, a little knock on there at the back of the ruck. Unforced, Chris. Yeah, it was. Look, uh, Keith Neal's had a bit of a look up and he's he's sort of knocked the ball on instead of first things first, getting your head down, passing through and making sure you got the ball in the hand. The gold boys are, are really trucking through here. They're trying to get down into the half, but the wind's playing a bit of playing against them but they're, they're, they're working their way down the, down the field they're doing really really well Hamilton Maris need to try and capitalise on what they've got in this first half okay. here we go with the old boys getting the ball into the scrum set piece pretty much on their 10 metre line Just a reminder, folks, that score is uh, 7 0, not 7 10. There we go. Now it's fixed, and hopefully the time as well. I think we might be getting some help. There was a, someone screaming across the car park a few minutes late from a referee. Probably still wondering about that life at Tokeley last night, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. How are we, Andrew? Oh, good, mate. I'll tell you, I'm as bad a reliable as those lights are tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Very good lights out there, I must say, though. Alright, great right here these. from Old Boys, 12, 12 metres inside their half, we'll get back to that, that totally game last night though, Andrew. So, down there to the fullback from Marist, the two kick, coming from them, to the 22 of Old Boys, they're not kicking in this game so far, another one, this one outside the 22, don't go out though, claim there, on the halfway line from Marist. Neil says it, gives it off to his number six. Four metres inside the half now for the wayside, unbeaten in round one. From their nine, nine matches. Ben Brownlee telling a few of the old boys players to get out of it. Now it comes back to Harwitter. The box kick coming in. Claim there by old boys, not a problem. Midway 10 metre line, 22. Oh boys, now another kick downfield, and oh, it's a mistake. He's not really got his body behind it, and a knock on, Chris. Yeah, it looks like Newton Chudo um, sort of had a bit of time underneath the underneath the ball, but it was swirling around. He just couldn't get his hands underneath the ball. So, you know, Hamilton, Hamilton, old boys, are now on on their halfway line. All right, Chris, we're going to punish Andrew here by making him do play-by-play -play since he's run late. Oh, nice, nice. Welcome, to, <coughs> welcome, mate. Well, thanks for having me, Chris and Bev. I do love the sound of my own voice. If you, if you don't know already, you're about to find out. So <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. Well, it was only a mistake that made you commentate in the first place, wasn't it, on a Thursday night? Yeah, that's not far from here. My parents would probably argue the same as well. That's how I got into the, to the world. Um, <laughs> here we go now. Old boy's feet here, just on the halfway line. Got a good set up out here to the back line. It's taken on the crash ball there. Recycled now and spun again. A little kick through there from the midfield. It is bounced just into touch. Just inside the 22 here of the Marist side. Chris, how close was that to the halfway line? I mean, I know it was inside the half, but... Yeah, I think it was just over the halfway line. It was just over, but... I thought it was 50 22, but it was close. Pretty close. You can see what the Hamilton Old Boys are trying to do here. They're trying to um, plug them in their, in, their, in their half. Off the line out now, and an air rush straight up from Marist. 
I think with the kickoff, that's about three loose balls that it have is. gone to them. Yeah. yeah. This gives Hamilton Old Boys some pretty good possession here and uh, inside the 22 of Hamilton Marist. What, what are we picking here, Chris? Look, it looks like they're going to go to the open side to the backs and set up some set piece. Set piece here. Yeah, I'd agree. They've got a striking back line uh, sequence yeah. set up there. Well, they've got Gideon Rampling in at 12, and he's um, he's definitely a barnstorming player in that midfield. They come from St. Paul's, and he was, he was dangerous in, in that level as well. So, not for Gideon. Right, fed in here by uh, Alex Johnson now for old boys. Held on the back of this by the eight. Spinning out wide now. Yeah. On the crash tackle there for uh, uh, Rampling. Penalty given here. I was going to say, he hasn't signaled yet, but there can only really be one thing there, and that's not releasing. Yeah, yeah, look, they, they, he lost a bit of support there. His blindside winger was coming around. Lost his role in the way of trying to clean out, but, you know, that's a uh, mouse to be very happy with that. They've been under the pump a little bit. Uh, down the road, folks. Fraser Tech Melbourne, you can catch that game on the other one. Also shared on Bev's broadcasting as well. Uh, 31 nil currently, Fraser, Fraser Tech leading. It's a uh, pretty nice clearance there from uh, Fadi Nui Hawera. It's taking the ball up over halfway there from Maris with an attacking throw into the line out here. Ball off the top now, quick ball. Finds Hawera into the back line now. Crash tackle ball here. Taken in midfield by Old Boys. Held up here. Ball is recycled well out the back. It's come right out to the wing there. Marathon position here. Haven't uh, really gone forward here, Chris. No, it's some really good defence come from Hamilton Old Boys. Recycled again out to the uh, left hand side now. Another good little offload there. Taken in by the prop there, uh, Tupair. As we come back towards the right now, Mariston centre field. Good tackle release there from Old Boys as it comes to the right again. Oh, out the back door, but it hasn't found hands. Up to Newton Trudeau on this right hand side here. It's with Marist again here. Good go forward ball there from Fell. Building a few phases here now, Marist, as I put the commentator's curse on them. It's a classic and commentator's curse, that one. Close that one up. Possibly even a falcon there. Might have been. Close. I'll tell you what, uh, there's something captured in the background that I might have to have a look back at the footage later on. A kid doing cartwheels <laughs> like nobody else's business, to be honest, um, in the background there. I'm glad you guys are all rugged up. I've still got my shoes on. It's a little bit chilly actually here down here at Fred Jones Park, but a beautiful day for rugby nonetheless. It comes out the back here now for Hamilton Old Boys. They spin it to the right hand side. Uh, not a clean pass here, it's gone backwards. They've lost about 10 metres here. Yeah, they it over the uh, Thomas New Zealand Sevens representatives playing eight for Old Boys today. Some good heat put in the counter ruck there for Maris, but Old Boys have recycled well. And a penalty given away here. Might be offside. Offside at ruck time there. Um, Andrew, viewers at home might not have realised uh, an interesting scoreline at Pokeley that you had last night. What uh, happened? It was. Yeah, yeah. I was. Uh, I had the pleasure of heading out to uh, uh, beautiful Tofuti under the lights. Um, and I must say, they. Everyone's were, raving about those lights. So I'm gonna, were, for different yeah. reasons today. Well, listen, I. <laughs> We could talk about well networks, I suppose, in a bit, but uh, the, when the lights were on, they were actually a fantastic resource. So I think Sophie can be pretty proud of um, those lights out there. Unfortunately, it was a slight technical issue, and we lost uh, lost lights after about uh, 17 minutes in the first half. So we had to call it a day and go have uh, go have some kai in the club room and a couple of drinks here. Yeah, <laughs> Brian 
results and uh, definitely had a few orange juices. I was going to say, from what Jonathan Crosby was telling me. <laughs> certainly did. Right, we're back in the game here now as Old Boys win it off the top of the line out. Comes out into centre field here. Recycle ball, Johnson spins it wide. Good, good roll on there as Old Boys make another 10 metres up the field. As Ray takes it up. Recycle again with Johnson at the back. Some big powerful forward play here from Hamilton Old Boys. Radcliffe now taking in midfield and held up possibly. Yeah, tackle release called here so it'll come back on the side of Old Boys. Then we come again with Vuku Vuku. With Johnson here again, recycling to the fly half. Oh, good little cheeky little grubber there from Matarewa. Play on, says referee Brownlee. It's still with Hamilton Old Boys here. Ruck ball now, 10 metres uh, over the halfway of Hamilton Maris. As they spin wide with a bit of space here. Two on one as the pass does not find the hands of the old boys outside player. It's been turned over now here to Hamilton Maris as it's recycled. Held at the back by Niels and spun wide. They might look for an extra play here, Chris. Yeah, look, they just need to get it out of their half, Maris. Yeah, that doesn't go out, so they put themselves under pressure. There we go. Oh, crunching oh, tackle on crunching hit. Is there a little knock on there as well? There is. Uh, yeah, there is playing advantage for that. Turned over here, and we're Hamilton Maris with position now. Just on their side of halfway. Spun bar to the left by Neil there as Harweda puts the little kick in, but it's well read there at the back by Hamilton Old Boys. And he likewise returns serve downfield. It's now held by Collard at the back. He spins it wide. Potential uh, space out here for Hamilton Maris, but it, it's closed down very quickly by the Hamilton Old Boys outsides. Back on halfway again as Maris recycles. Good little offload here from Hamilton Maris. What a space! Oh, oh, oh crunching hit there. Masarewa just folded him in half. He doesn't matter whether he's got the ball in hand or not. You can see the feel when he hits. Yeah, it's a big hit on. Uh, who is that bloke? It's the McCartney. McCartney down. He stayed down he as well. Stayed down play. too. Receiving a little bit of attention oh. here. Oh. It's Hamilton Maris earned himself a penalty here now. Yes. Old boys going straight off feet there into the ruck. That's the rule. I don't know if, what, how you feel about this, Chris. And it's no criticism on referees here, Andrew. I'll but take this it's a rule that I just don't see penalised often enough. And that's diving on the player on the ground. Yeah, it is. It is, and it's it's a little bit lazy coming from that that player because. You know, all he had to do was sort of just hold him basically. Hold him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, wait for him to you know, get on his feet, have a go for the ball or, or take out the threat. So you know Hamilton Mass would be very <coughs> happy to get out of this get this penalty. Good opportunity to clear out of their half again here for Maris. They've had one or two of these now as they find touch. Yeah, Quinn Quinn Collard is, is taking the uh, the penalty kicks. I think I think something's just not quite going right for Farinoa Harwara. Like I mean, the couple of games that we've covered, actually, the three of us covered the um, centenary match at Easter. Yes, we did. Yes. Yeah. Um, the last aren't one. working quite well for him at the moment. I think he's uh, the coaches have given him one role, and that's just to direct the team around and give him less jobs to do. So he's done a great job with Maris making a break through the middle. Is uh, Keaton Neal's on his shoulder? Great oh. pop pass. He quick ball to the left. Oh, boys, it just looks like Keaton Neal's is coming around the corner there. The little yeah. halfback. Oh, that's a try. Sorry, I actually thought he'd, his arm had gone the other way. No, that's uh, a great break. Looks like it came from. Um, Maybe Leroy Van Dam in the middle in the midfield there. Open them up. Just like old boys, how they got their first try. And Maris to back into it. 
Yeah, good hungry play there from uh, Hamilton Marist. Van Dam, the centre going straight through the middle, and then just good support play. Offload, offload, and then uh, sneaky little try next to the post. Uh, by the halfback, we're thinking, is it? Yeah, I, th I think so. I actually zoomed out very quickly because I thought it was a penalty. Yeah, you probably, I probably thought that as well, actually. It was, it's really hard when the signals come so close to the line because the penalty and the try signal is very similar. Nevertheless, Hamilton Maris, five points on the board with a kick to come here. It looks like Harwood are taking the conversions. And two more points there for Hamilton Maris. That levels us up at seven points apiece. <laughs> when, I, when I get it right. There we go. <laughs> Who's had the better of the first 20 minutes here, Chris? Well, it looks like the old boys were the first, uh, were at the start, for at least the first 10 minutes, and then it was sort of back in, t to and fro for five minutes. And now Hamilton Maris has sort of got a bit of the ascendancy, the momentum sort of changed. I think both teams are just trying to build a bit of field position, position and uh, trying to get into each other's halves. And just let their set piece, because that's where the, the, the go for is coming from. Yes, there's some evenly matched arm wrestle here at the moment. Old boys with the restart here. It's kicked deep inside the 22 and it's taken straight by uh, Buddy Nua Hawera ha ha there. And he makes a massive clearance downfield. Well, it trickles out into the uh, car park there. <coughs> we find ourselves in a familiar position here, about five minutes uh, just on the old boys side of halfway. Some of the old boys to throw into the line out here. Looks like Tuka Afu to throw. Tuka Afu, yep. Yeah. It's gone over the back here. It'll be claimed by Hamilton Maris as it's tipped back on uh, their side of halfway now. Ruck centre field here. Go back to ha Haweta, who kicks again downfield. Bounce space inside the helmet and old boys. This could be a... Oh, it's going to be. I thought it was going to be a 50-22 there. But it has found itself into the end goal area of Hamilton old boys. And this looks like it's going to be a line dropout, Chris. It is. Uh, Whittinger Howard is, is, a, is one of those players that will just pin you in your corner. His, uh, his kicks are usually pinpoint. And it looks like he's, he's, he's got them on the back foot again. And old boys need to kick into the wind, so... Yeah, they'll be pretty happy with where they are at the moment. Yeah, I feel like Harwood, just in the last five minutes, he's just turned the screws a little bit here, hasn't he, with his kicking options. He's just pinned old boys back down inside their half. As Maris come back away now through Bristow. Ruck ball here now. 30 metres out from the old boys' goal line as they go to the right-hand touch line through DeFell. And through the trees. <laughs> Back in the centre field, oh, a crunching tackle there on Gilhenny Black for Marist. As it comes through Harwood, it puts a little step there. Back into traffic now. It's taken in there, and a penalty is given away here. Entry into the ruck here from Hamilton Marist. Yeah, it looks like they've come from the side there, and... Um, I think I was pretty lucky there. I don't know how I would have tried to do a bit of a, a left foot step and he's been held up and he's he, he sort of lost the ball there and Sammy Poe was right there to pick up the ball. But, you know, Hamilton Old Boys would be pretty happy to get back into the, into the halfway line. Look at that wind. It's only just gone about 10 metres. <coughs> oh, yeah, it might have hit my car, that kick, actually. <laughs> I think it's down the car park there. Yeah. Was it yours, Chris, sorry? <laughs> No, no, not mine, not mine. Thank Might goodness, I'll be walking home. <laughs> you might have to hit the BP car wash on the way home after <laughs> that, Deb. The mud off your car. Probably not the worst thing that's ever happened to it at sport. Old oh, boys now, uh, the penalty has been kicked out. There's a line out here now. Just on their side of halfway. It's one quite cleanly off the top now. It comes into centre field. Oh, another crunching uh, tackle there. Caught behind the advantage line here now as old boys recycle. 
They reset, it comes out to the right here. Not a lot of progress forward there as they go uh, back to Mason who puts it onto the boot. The contest in the air. Old boys will it. Old boys have regained position. It's two that have claimed off their own kicks in, the, in general play. Some real heat going into those rucks at the moment. Yeah, look, both teams are just trying to get a bit of ascendancy here. And, and old boys are having to go back to the kick, but because of the wind, it's only going about five metres. I think that's what's throwing the arse off, actually, because that's what, old boys have claimed a three in a row now. Yeah. <coughs> it's, it's, uh, well, it's uh, been claimed here by Maris off the box, ki uh, box kick there by Johnson. More ruck ball here as they oh, ra get some it. good go forward here down the field. Some good options out here to the right now if they spin it wide. Oh, oh he's kicked that through. Oh, here we go. He just needs to control this. Lee Bristow's on his tail. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, man. Tell you what. I, I think at half time, I might have to roll that replay through because anything and everything was happening there. And, uh, We've gone from Andrew making commentators curse to you, Chris. <laughs> on that one, all he had to do was control it. He Mate. controlled the ball well, just on his feet. Sicky Vol, he, he, he had nobody in front of him. He just needed to control it. I don't think um, any of the soccer teams will, will pick him up. <laughs> no, Liverpool's calling me, I think. Uh, anyway, they're in the right part of the field. Goal line drop out now. Restart from Hamilton Maris. <coughs> that finds its way all the way down to the halfway line. Held at the back now by Johnson as he finds Mason, who spins it away to the left. Taken now into the contact there by Vuku Vuku. Johnson again. Tuku Afu again now, rolling up. Down the field go old boys. and made some good progress here. Penalty, penalty advantage here yes. for Hamilton Old Boys. Might have been a slow release there, I think. Possibly hands. Hands in the ruck. Is the call from referee Brownlee. It's been around a while now, hasn't he, Ben? I think he was starting to referee just as I gave up, um, Andrew, but he's doing well for himself. <coughs> yeah, I mean, he's uh, he's looked about the same as I can remember, but he's definitely been around... You mean about 15? He's looked about 15 his entire <laughs> life. His mum tells me that's, he was born like that as well. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's one of our senior referees now and he certainly gets around the field well. Controls the, controls the game well. Old boys on the attack now here from the penalty. They've uh, chosen for the line out option here. <clears throat> well, it looks like a full line out here, boys. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if they ever have a bit of a drive off this line out. Touch at the start, Chris. This is where they dominated in the um, round one match between these two sides. Here we oh. go. We're down. Old boys forwards going to work. Little feet. Making sure that they're straight. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be pretty hard to stop. About five metres out now. Oh. As I say that, they're falling over. <laughs> Old boys still in position though now as Fuku uh, takes great. it away. There's a penalty option here for them as well. High contact, penalty option here as old boys continue to rumble towards the line here. Another couple of metres there for old boys as they, uh, it was a little dummy pass there from Johnson as he takes it into contact now. <coughs> Three metres out from the, uh, or five metres out from the Maris goal line here. The big guys go to work here, rumbling towards the line. Maris are holding strong on defence here so far though. Recycle ball again there. For Miller. They rumble towards the line here, old boys. Within a metre now. Close. Very close, short. 
They rumble again. Great goal line defence here from Hamilton Maris. As old boys rumble again, he's over! Over. Have to wait and see the number. Great patience showing from Hamilton old boys there. Got those low numbers working hard there. Rumbling, rumbling towards the goal line and the try has... Tefanua. I think it was to be uh, Kenny Fanua. It's dotted over there. Yeah, that, 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 was, that was a good patient effort there by Hamilton old boys. <coughs> you know, they've come from a line out. They've driven about five metres and then they've had about maybe five or six uh, phases and they've just, you know, hasn't gone anywhere near two or three metres outside those rucks. So they've kept it safe and they've gone through. Let's look at this replay here. Look, it's good recycled ball by Hamilton Maris. Oh, Hamilton old boys, sorry. And they've come around the side and look. Hamilton old boys will be rewarded with all their hard effort. Especially those forwards, the smaller numbers. Looks like Kenny Fanua is taking that try. As we go for the conversion. And that's straight out. Another two points for Hamilton Old Boys. 14-7. It's been a very interesting contest so far. And uh, Marist really have to get back down the other end because they've been camped at, this other, at, the, um, at their own end for a while now. Yeah, look, when you're, when you're playing into the wind, you actually have to play with more ball in hand if you can. Well, you got yeah. less control almost, don't that, you? That, exactly right. And, and Marist, with this win, will be, will be needing a couple more points as they get into half time. <coughs> yes, we've been treated to a seesaw affair here so far. 14 7 now. Hamilton Old Boys leading over the visitors here today, Hamilton Marist. As Old Boys clear it away inside their half. Ball's going to stay in field. I think it's hardware at the back that's claimed that. As they spin it across to the right hand side wing. Been good progress. Oh! Crunching tackle there on Bristow, I think it was. Position as a. Hamilton Old Boys would be very, very happy with that. Do okay. apologise there, folks. We lost the uh, video signal for a second, but it is back now. Lee Bristow just took that. Um, had a bit of a go there, stepped back on the inside, even though he had um, Quinn Collard on the wing. And he's gone into a bit of a crunching tackle in the midfield there. Yeah, I think Hamilton Marist have had the most success really when they've brought it up up through the middle there, they where have. they've gained the most yards. So you could see why they'd want to get their uh, their fast men uh, working hard on there. As old boys want it off the top now, and it finds Mason in midfield. Another good crunching tackle there on defence from Maris. It's taken back into the 22 now. A little low kick stab there from Mason. We find it with Howard at the back. Gives him the big step off. Oh, finds a bit of space here. Makes it up towards the 22. Good seam coming in there from Hawada. The big don't answer there from Whanunua Hawada. And it's going to be a penalty here now. I thought that might be even a card. There was definitely a hand that just came in there and dabbed that ball down. That's what the penalty's for. But uh, Chris doesn't seem to be... I, I'm, just looking, I'm, I'm just looking <laughs> at Whanunua Hawada on that run. He'll put that on his highlight reel. Oh, it's on mine. And, and I've it, already clipped it. It'll be on his Instagram stories or something <laughs> like that, and he'll be putting it out to, all, to everybody he knows. There will be a highlights package, folks, uh, in coming days on Dad's Broadcasting. Of course, uh, we do <laughs> remember it's Pink's birthday weekend. We almost forgot about that. Whether you're a royalist or not, as it's a long weekend. Yeah, a good day off work. Anybody will take that, that's for sure. We all love a good day off work, but uh, no time off here for the uh, Hamilton Maris and Hamilton Old Boys players as uh, another line out is claimed here. Uh, 10 metres out from the Hamilton Old Boys goal line here. Maris in possession. Um, held in the back of the mall here, but they're not going anywhere fast. Ball released out to the right now. Just snuck under a tackle there and it's got a bit of go forward ball here for Maris as they spin it wide. Right, directly centre field now. Maris oh, with the ball. Masarewa in there trying to make a nuisance of himself. He initially. has, but legally. And Kenny Fanua has <coughs> sort of come around the side, so... Hamilton Maris, right in front, will they take the points? You almost have to, don't you? Uh, I think so, especially with this, you know, close encounter. You need to take as much points as you can. The tea's been run out here. Look, 
both teams have been, um, you know, have been willing and, and wanting to play a bit of footy. And, and it's been a good game to watch, to be fair. There's been some hard hits. There's definitely been some good runs in counter-attack. Yeah, I think this game's had everything so far. We've seen some good, good interchange with the forwards. I, I love a good rumbling try over the line. And we've seen some good play from the backs. Is the that one. so you don't have to run too far when you're referring, Andrew? Yeah, or? You know, I'm, a, I'm a forward at heart as we see uh, Haweta knock over three more points there for Hamilton Marist <coughs> in a fairly adjacent kick there. So, so the answer to my question is yes. I do, mate. <laughs> the less running I have to do, the better for everyone. Well, I have to say, Chris, I'm not sure if you brought this up at Easter weekend, but I've even seen a referee in a bees game at Collin Road. I'm waiting for him to click to the moment I'm talking about. Take a conversion kick from the sideline. I mean, the score was 80 odd nil, but. Yeah. But I, I, <laughs> I, I, think the refer, I think the referee in question has actually tweaked what I was talking about. I've been known to do that, unfortunately. <laughs> been told off for that a couple of times as well. I don't think anyone on the day really, ma- no, really was ma- bothered. It was a fairly good natured effort. Other than the fact that it was a poor attempt. Oh, it's close. <laughs> so we see restart here now from Hamilton Old Boys. <coughs> The clearance kick there down the side of the 22 from Hamilton Maris. And the ball finds itself into the Wagner Stadium car park for the fourth time today. And had about four cars to get to, and it, it, it's actually bounced over the top, all of them. <laughs> yeah. Have to work on his accuracy there if he wants to get Bed's car. It's a few feet the other way, thanks, sir. Hamilton Old Boys now at the line out. Just on the 10 metre line here in, uh, in Marist Half. Ball to be thrown in by Tukuraku. Just juggle at the back there by Johnson, but still a possession for old boys. A little short side play here now as we see uh, is it Taylor Ray there with the ball. As they move up towards the uh, Hamilton Maris 22 here. All oh, isolation. Oh, but no clear release here yep. from the Maris side. So Hamilton Old Boys find himself with a penalty here. <coughs> About 30 metres out from the Hamilton Maris goal line. What are we doing here, Chris? Looks Points like or? No, it looks like we're going for a line out here. They, they seem to trust their, their drive, line out drive. Um, that's how the last try was initially started. And what do you think, sir? What's it, with, with this wind out here today, Chris? What do you think is an appropriate lead you'd want to take into oh. the second half? Oh, look, Marist will be looking at least ten to fifteen points. You know, it's 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 directly behind them, and you know that you'd want to be going at least ten points into the half time as you're coming into the wind because you're going to have to run it out from your half, and you're going to have to really work really hard to get into the scoring position. I think there's an injury stoppage here, guys. Um, probably can't see it because I think it's right behind the tree. <laughs> uh, I'm looking everywhere else and I can't find an injured player. So. No, I can't, I can't see there's, a number there's, sign, There's waters, there's water, yeah. but <laughs> looking at where Ben Brownlee's standing, there is a player just behind the tree that is down. Yeah. <coughs> I think it's number four for Hamilton Maris there today, by the looks of it. Sam Poe, the uh, co-captain along with Wharanui Hawara. Uh, next weekend's live stream, folks. Um, at this stage, is going to be the women's premiership final between Melville and uh, between Melville and Hamilton Old Boys over at uh, Willoughby Park. Um, before that, uh, that game kicks off at one o'clock. At eleven o'clock, though, is the promotion relegation match between Topuri and Southern United. That one at eleven um, on Willoughby as well. May change though, depending on how some super rugby team that's managed to get to the top in. Yeah, uh, get a home quarter final. Although I have to say, another team did last night as well. Thank you, folks. <laughs> another team got their home a home quarter final booked as well. Um, another thing too, guys. Uh, Stag Trophy is actually on the line today. It is. So it's a first round of the obviously of round two, but Stag Trophy has been played between all Hamilton city teams, teams. city teams, um, in, in the Premier Division. Um, so Hamilton Old Boys are, are the current. Holders, right? Or yes. Yep. So Maris want to try and take, you know, coming in to try and take it off him. Wonder if today's match takes it home for the summer because these are the only two city teams in the Premiership. 
The wonderful uh, ball going on here from Hamilton, old boys. <coughs> You've picked it right. Chris is a roll towards the line. Five more points here for Hamilton, old boys. We'll wait to see who uh, comes up on the bottom of that ball. Might be the hooker. No, it's not the, no, it's not the hooker. Uh, I think it's that? Somani Tukuapu. It's scored that. Ah. The number three. 1910 kick to come. Hey, look, that was a, that was a good line out set piece. You know, I wasn't going any anywhere outside of the forwards. They're in Prime's position. I do realise, sorry folks, there is an issue with the score, scoreboard that just keeps crashing on me. Um, the score is though 1910, just on half time. <coughs> Well, it's, uh, there's been a couple of wonderful forward tries here for old boys. It's definitely um, definitely been a strength here for them today. Yeah, that's their go-to. It, it is their forward pack, and it's it's shown in general play as well, where they're trying to get a bit of go forward in and around that set piece. As we look at the replay of the try, look, the forwards are all quite tight there. They're going forward. Maris is struggling to get a bit of defence behind them, and then they're splintered right through. So. It pulled Maris, pulled me. Thankfully, the, video, the camera was out enough. <coughs> Either way, it's five more points. The conversion's been successful for the Hamilton Old Boys. That takes them out to a 21 to 10 uh, lead here over Hamilton Maris. As uh, play has restarted, Old Boys in position now as we see a kick from Mason downfield. It's going to be claimed at the back by uh, Hawera. As he shows that uh, little step again now as Maris moving away to the right. Bit of space out here. Pumping the legs there through their uh, centre. <coughs> Mason Tupaya taking it through. Got a lot of good go forward there over the vantage line. Lee Bristow having another crack. But good defence by Hamilton Old Boys. Uh, Marison position again now here as they move it back towards centre field. I think they'd be keen to take away a couple more points here before half time, Chris. Yes, they will be. They will be the, down the edge here. Bit of a chip through. Leilua. Ishmael. Under penalty advantage there, so they'll come. Uh, referee Brownlee brings it back into centre here, field here <coughs> for a ruck infringement. Off the feet, I think, to call there. Harweda looking for touch now, down hopefully inside for his uh, sake, down inside the old boys 22 area. And he finds touch right on the 22 line. Look, we're just about coming up to half time here, fellas, and you know it'll be good for Maris to get some points on the board here as they as they head into half time. They almost need to just get that well, they, momentum they into the break they the do. Well, they're well positioned here as the ball comes off the top of the line out and is one. Is that might be Bristow taking the ball, crash tackle into centre field here. Good go forward ball here for Hamilton Maris. It comes away to the left. Possibly with the co-captain Poe there, I think. The halfback has a little sneak around the side there. Still with Hamilton Maris here as they edge closer towards the Hamilton Old Boys goal line now. Another little rumble forward here. Just getting your forwards lined up here. Good oh, drive forward good. here from Hamilton Maris. It's been... Lost forward there, I think, and now a penalty's been given away. Not maintaining body weight there at the ruck. <coughs> Look, there's a lot of voices around that ruck area. Arms flaying everywhere. We're going to take, take, take a shot at the post, I believe. This will be half time. Yeah, I think that they uh, they need to go on with at least some points. Get into Get into half time and, and Hamilton Maris will be um, you know, pretty happy to, to try and get some momentum heading into the second half. Yes, well, a successful uh, penalty kick here will bring us to 21 13, so it'll be eight point deficit there for Hamilton Maris if this penalty is successful. It's right adjacent to the sticks. 
doing all my best to uh, put a curse on it. And it goes over there. Three more points to Hamilton Maris. That's half time signaled. 21 13. Hamilton Old Boys leading Hamilton Marist here at Fred Jones Park. Stag Trophy on the line here today.
Welcome back as the second half is underway now with Buddy Nui Hawera restarting here for Hamilton Marist. Old boys in position now, just outside their 22 here. Slow ruck ball as it comes back for Johnson who clears. Little box kick over the top here. Well claimed at the back there by Hamilton Marist. Just inside the old boys half as we go out to the left here. Comes away again now through Hawera. Good contact there in the tackle, but he's uh, spun away there and gained a couple more metres. And a penalty given away here. Not rolling away quick enough there, Hamilton Old Boys. Probably just what Marist were looking for just after half time, Chris. Yeah, yep, they'll be very happy with that, Marist. Um, just be now get the ball in hand and put them down into the, cor uh, into the corner of Hamilton Old Boys. And just like, oh, it's not going to go out. The wind's caught it and it's kicked it up. But he'll take that because. <laughs> Boom, that's five <laughs> metres, but yeah. hey. The return kick wasn't that good. He shanked that one. So I'm straight in uh, off the side of the boot there. So who was playing golf there? It's just a referee, Fenwick, down here. He's got his flag up just outside. And, and the, the sunny's field. on as well. He said the sunny's on all day. It's been, uh, it's been a strange old day weather-wise. I was going to say, we've got you one of my cricket hats, coffee stained cricket hats for those at home that um, know which cricket hats that I have. Um, it's, time's off at the moment. It's, again, we've got no ball. Um, yeah, we've got that for, for half time as well as swap the cameras over. Um, all of a sudden, that sun's really gone away for us. Yeah. It, it's actually pretty funny. You won't be able to see it on camera, but a lot of the Marist uh, support crew have gone to look for a ball. So, as you get into the off the line out from Hamilton Marist, as the sun goes behind the clouds, coming on, oh, nice switch here. Trying to look at blind side as we come as Hamilton Marist get into the 22 of Hamilton Old Boys. Good recycle ball there from Marist now as they cruise up over the uh, 22 here inside the Hamilton Old Boys uh, half now. Just held up a little bit there in the tackle as uh, Marist recycle the ball again. Ruck time and there's a penalty given away here by Hamilton Marist. Clean out, not efficient there, and a Hamilton Old Boys player's got his hands over the ball there, and it his team a penalty. The ball in the hands of Mason now for Hamilton Old Boys as he looks to find touch with the penalty kick here. I'll get you to tell us the score in a minute, uh, Chris, but. Folks, if you want to watch the end of Fraser Tech versus Melville, uh, congratulations to Fraser Tech on their centenary this weekend. You can catch the other game on the Waikato Rugby Facebook page, like this game also, you can watch that uh, back to your heart's content. Chris, the score when you asked what? It was 21-13. No, sorry, it's Fraser Tech. Oh, Fraser Tech. Yes, the Fraser Tech game. Yeah, so the, the Fraser <laughs> Tech were actually um, giving Melville a bit of a a lesson with the score there. I think it was like 48 13, I think, the last time we'd. Could be some good it. celebrations so, then. Yep, there'll be some. Um, uh, the night will be definitely very good going into uh, going into Sunday and the long weekend. We've got a bit of time to recover. Here we go, Hamilton Old Boys. Off the line out. A great run in the midfield. What a number seven. As we get around the corner, Hamilton Old Boys. Quick ball, recycling it very, very quick. At the Van Dam on that far side there. <clears throat> Back in the centre field here now, Hamilton Old Boys. Some good aggressive rucks here. As they come through, a little kick put through there. Uh, he's only made about a metre and a half and... Conceded a penalty. Conceded a penalty there. Straight off feet potentially. Look. Both coaches will be very uh, frustrated around the ruck area. It just seems like a lot of the boys that are coming in to, to clean out are losing their roles and you know not been making an efficient clean, clean out. I think all the penalties we've had have been from the rucks. Yeah, they have. Or, so. or most, you know? Yeah. 
There's been no head high tackles or you know, no scrum penalties. It's been pretty clean. It's been very clean. So both teams will be pretty happy around that area. It's just Yeah, a little bit too slow to the rucks. Not cleaning out, not getting not getting low enough, so <coughs> So here we go, Hamilton Old Boys with ball in hand. Well, Penalty here, Andrew, you just had a quick look at your phone. What, what are some of those scores that you've got there, mate? Just having a little look here at the Premier scores. So Fraser Tech 53, Melville 14. We've got a close encounter out there at Campbell Park, Morinsville with United Matamata Sports 17, currently leading Morinsville 13. And then... Th those two games... Those two games are the um, Lone Star Championship matches. The well, the bottom five of round one, and no other score. I was just looking for the Otrahonga game. If I can find it. No score no between. Score well, no current score between Otrahonga and Tiamudu down at Island Reserve in Otrahonga. Yeah, look, that'll, that'll be a grudge match down in. Um between that game, between Tiamudu Sports, pretty and much neighbours, aren't they? They are. In terms they are. of. Uh, Waikato Rugby. So they'll be, um, you know, whoever wins that, they'll be have, have a bit of bragging rights for the rest of the, the year, unless they both make it into the semis and, and the finals. So yeah, there'll be no love lost in that affair. And then, to be fair, both both clubs have had fairly good seasons. So they have. Yeah, um, yeah. Tell them what just having a good win last week against University to, to get them into the to get them into the Waikato Draft Premiership. Right. Yeah. So all to play. Uh, in that game as well as this one as old boys uh, win the ball off the top of the line out here just making it up over halfway here as Johnson recycles the ball to the left bit of space out here to the left for old boys as they put it through the hands now it's made it to the wing and he's uh, been bundled into touch on the far side uh, by the cover defence there from Hamilton Marist I think we're being stitched up here guys and I do apologise I was actually going to say there's one but now I see another Oh, there's 24 and 25 on the field. Unfortunately, don't know who those are. <laughs> but there are numbers 24 and 25 for old boys. <laughs> Looks great, the line out. <coughs> so, scrub here now for Hamilton old boys off that uh, line out infringement. Just a correction in the score. Thanks, Chris. 21-13, not 21-18. No, everybody will be looking going, oh, Mass just needed one more score and uh, they'll be there. But, hey, look, comes to Mass, they'll be looking at um, you know, putting a bit of pressure on defence here, the, freeing up their line speed. The defence has been really, really good today. And saying that, you know, two, two tries have been scored just outside centre in that third channel. So it's trying to come up and put a bit, bit of pressure on Hamilton Old Boys. <coughs> They've certainly got a, some mouth-watering options here with a good scrum. Got all of their backs out here to the right-hand flank. So Jack McConnell's right on this edge here, on this far wing. Uh, New Zealand under 20s playing Australia this afternoon at 4.30. It's live on Sky, folks. I've uh, got three Wakato players, Gabe Robinson, Taha Kek Kimara, and Malaki Rampling Alec in the 23. Here we go. Great scrum here from Hamilton Old Boys. The blind side winger, Siki Val, make, taking it into the midfield. This gives Old Boys uh, options here, either going left or right. They're bringing it back. To the left hand side. Oh. Putting them under pressure. Yeah, that was unlucky from Hamilton Maris. Look, he's coming to put a bit of pressure on the second arriving defender. And he's actually fallen over the ruck. He's flopped, isn't yeah, he? He's flopped over the ruck. Yeah, <coughs> you could see the old boy supporters yeah. in the background. He just everyone going. Look, he was. There, there was no 50 50s about it. Just needed to keep his feet and get over the ball, and he would have had all rights to it. But just lost his footing. Momentum coming forward. There was an old boy's player down in back play. Just before that last ruck, he might actually be. Yeah, a blindside winger. 
Yeah, I was just going to say, it looks like the number 11, Siki, Siki Val. It probably so looks like he might be coming off the field here, Siki Val. Uh, he's hobbling. <coughs> looks like me after I played indoor cricket this week, actually. I played game and a half and managed to almost get through it uninjured. <laughs> Fold about six overs. It's like, Jesus, guys, I know I'm a fill-in, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to be asked of me to do. <laughs> did me 12 off the back net, uh, Bev? No, mate, no. <laughs> just, just like my uh, go at Eden Park a month ago, yeah. Oh, it didn't look like you hit that too bad there, but... Yeah, no, no we needed near the boundary, mate. <laughs> no, now, if I was a betting man, fellas, which, I, which I'm not, um, this is going to be a drive. <laughs> I probably wouldn't take you up on that, to be honest, but the ball's overthrown. Oh, the oh, oh, there goes the commentator's <coughs> first again. And it's uh, claimed at the back here by Hamilton Marist. However, they're coming back for the uh, not straight option, I think. Jeez, Glass, I think I'm going to have to cut your pay in half. I think that's about three, <laughs> maybe four between the two of you today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I haven't done the players any favours here today, that's for sure. <laughs> Looks like Liam Wilson's coming on, uh, has come off with Sikival on that far wing, number 23. Yeah, Liam Wilson <coughs> is on the field. Hamilton Maris now uh, with the feed into the scrum here. Just uh, just five metres out from their line, there's now a small child on the field. <laughs> Do not bring up the Warriors uh, with no. that. There comes the uh, Maris now. And a good crash tackle there, Ball. He's made uh, 10 or 12 metres there. That was Leilua, I think, for Maris. As Maris recycle now. Some good go forward ball here as they come up towards the 22 metre line. Taken back now to Hawida. He spun it wide here. A bit of space. Well shut down by Hamilton Old Boys, though. Yeah. And they'll come back for the penalty advantage here, offside. Referee Brownlee moving it back across uh, to the right-hand side of the field. Yeah, that was a good exit play there from uh, off the back of the scrum. Hitting Ishmael Leilua in the midfield. Got a good go forward, and then Hamilton Old Boys was trying to retreat, but got caught up in the ruck, and that was caught offside, and that's what we've got with a penalty. It's hard with it. Oh, it's not out. Here we go, Hamilton, old boys. <coughs> Kicking for the corner. Found some space. That's a good kick there from uh, Quinn Collard, I think it was. And he's banged himself for 50-22 here, I suspect. And he has. It'll be a Hamilton, old boys throw to the line out here. I'm just quickly, well done on Joel Skilander and uh, Minty and uh, David Fox for the work with the Waikato Rugby live stream. Um, I may not have been there in person, folks, but the uh, live stream you've been seeing is actually due to my uh, steer gear. I have linked Waikato Rugby, so it's been great that they've been able to get through. And uh, just what I was showing you there, Andrew, was um, grassroots are there today, done at uh, Mill Street, and um, Joel's actually got the camera on the grassroots interviewing them because oh. they're totally right in front of them. Awesome. <laughs> that, that's smart. <laughs> If you can't do it yourself, get somebody else to do it and piggyback off them. Right, old boys throwing into the line out now, just inside the 22 uh, metre zone of Marist here. Not surprisingly, they've uh, rumbling it up here through a mall. Look, Luke, Luke Masarewa has been doing an awesome job in the line outs. Doesn't matter who he plays for, his workload is just immense. Uh, he, he. Old boys continuing to rumble towards the uh, goal line now. The ball has been brought down. It could be a turnover here, I suspect. Collapse ball. Well defended by Hamilton Marist. Yeah, Hamilton Marist have been able to get underneath there. Hold them up. I, I have to say, guys, just, um, I, I mean, I'm not looking at the comments, but I'm, I'm sure there are a couple. Uh, do, do, we get, do we get a petition going for Hamilton City Council? To just, I, mean, I mean, I'm sure they can do about one tree here, can't, can't they? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's some healthy, looking, there's, there's some healthy looking trees here. I don't yeah. know if they're council owned, are they? Or they, they might be. But it um, certainly makes it challenging when the scrum takes place behind the tree. However, well defended by Hamilton Marist. They will have possession here. Looks like there's a reserve halfback on there for Marist now as well. That might be Sean Weir, is it? Is that a guess? Oh, man, I can't even see that number. I think on it is 21. 
Our final score down at uh, Mill Street, 58-21. Welcome to Steel Fabricators Park, I should say, up Mill Street, as it is known these days. In the favour of the uh, men celebrating their, men and women, of course, celebrating their 100 years. Congratulations, Fraser Tech. Yes, I'm sure it'll be a, a very uh, big celebration tonight. Yeah, I think they've got a quick thing at the club rooms and then coming here, actually, um, into one of the rooms. Oh, wow. Here at the stadium, from what I've read. No, it's got a, a lot of um, history at, at Fraser Tech, so uh, congratulations on, on, on getting the hundy, and yeah, should be a good night. Anyway, how the mouse try to run it out from their 22, but they are had a penalty for the scrum, and looks like uh, the props were trying to come up there, so... Saw the that a lot last night, didn't we? We did, yeah. Try to bore in. I wouldn't know much about those props in, in the Ford pack, mate, to be fair. Sorry, Chris, I might look like one these days, but I don't know either. <laughs> it's a mystery mystery space in the engine room sometimes. Uh, but Hamilton Mouse have got the better there. They've earned themselves a penalty clearance here. Well, well something I don't think I've said all season. They say English is the hardest language in the world to learn, but I, th I think front rows must be the second. <laughs> as we come away now, Hamilton Mouse just inside their own half here oh, as they turn the ball over here, I think. They've lost it forward in contact. Yeah, that, that's going in a little bit too high there into contact, and he's he's lost the ball. A good thing about Hamilton Old Boys that they've, they've been low, they've got it underneath, underneath them, and, and they caused a bit of an error. <coughs> yeah, there's been a couple of scramble plays just recently from Hamilton Maris. What do you reckon? What do you reckon Maris need to do, Chris? They're only eight points down here, and there's still uh, still 24 minutes left in the game. Probably no need to panic just yet. No, no, it's, it's, it's just holding on to position here, and it's you know they, they need to build phases, build a bit of pressure. Um, and once they've had ball in hand, it, they don't look too bad. It's just you know when they get into the rucks and, and get onto the groundwork, they're just getting a little bit too slow to, to be effective in cleaning out. Oops. It's a good scrum here. Hamilton Old Boys now cleared away as Johnson puts a little kick through. I think that's been touched by the uh, Maris winger here. He'll have to go back and gather, which he does. And now Old Boys are all over this. Oh, he's lost that. And he has lost it. Now, just quickly, Andrew, if, he, if that had gone into in goal and he'd had to force it, it'd be a five-metre scrum, wouldn't it? Not a goal line dropout. That is correct, sir. Yep. So you had a little touch on there, and it's then just effectively taken back into your goal line by the DP, five-metre scrum. <coughs> so a little knock on there from the uh, from the Marist winger will give the Hamilton Old Boys a good opportunity here with a scrum about 10 metres out I'd say maybe slightly less from the Hamilton Marist goal line Hamilton Old Boys leading 21-13 over Hamilton Marist here so the engine room comes together now Johnson feeding into the scrum for Old Boys. Great and scrum. Good position. Pushing forward, rolling forward there. Taken off the back by the number eight. He's over. Try time. I've seen Luke Masarova score a lot longer tries than that one. Didn't have a lot, a lot of work to do there though, Chris. And he's in an outstanding game. Just around his groundwork and his, and his work around the field. In the first half, he put in an outstanding hit on one of the Maris players, and now he's reward, being rewarded with it with a with a five pointer, and that's coming off a great scrum, really really strong by the by the forward pack, which is Hamilton Old Boys have had a great a great day on the forwards. Yeah, if they if Old Boys come away with the win today, as we come to a, the replay here, great. Scrum here from Hamilton Old Boys. Got some good go forward, rolling towards the line. Well controlled at the back there by Masarewa. And he's just too strong and too powerful and bursts his way over. He got caught quite high originally, but still yeah. managed just to twist and turn and use that power he has in his legs. Uh, he's, he's, he's got strong legs and his upper body is really, really strong as well. So they'll be happy to get that, and that conversion is a beauty. What a kick there from the fullback, I think, is it? Jaden Green. I believe so. For Hamilton Old Boys. Adds another two points 
28 points to 13. Hamilton Old Boys leading Hamilton Marist here at uh, Fred Jones Park here in Hamilton. The restart now from Harwood up. <coughs> well played there. Was that Masadewa again? It was. Yeah. It was. <coughs> Big roll forward from the... Uh, number Hogwarts, 24. <laughs> from the replacement player there, number 24. Johnson now with a box kick over the top. Rolling forward. And Players there's in front. a player in front. Offside. I think just from Ben Brownlee's uh, body language there, there was a couple, <laughs> not just one. Yeah, look. Hamilton Old Boys be a little bit disappointed there. They, they took the kick off the seat really, really well. They just need to you know, get the ball down into the Marist's half and then go to work, but, you know, a couple of boys in front, gives a penalty to Hamilton Marist, and that puts, a, puts them into the 22. Harweda makes the uh, the penalty clearance. Some substitutions coming on, number 18 for Marist, and I think this is in number 21 as well, coming onto the field. So Adrian Farafara coming in on number 18, and Emily. Emilini Bino coming in at 21. Also, there's um, I see Jack Lamb is, is on there as well. Um, play for some off, play for you know, a couple of Super Rugby games. So his experience will be worthwhile. Uh, down at Island Reserve at half time. I think it's a bit past half time, but I've just got an update. 10 5 Tiamuri were leading against Otsuhonga. Close encounter. Well, Hamilton Marist now hot on attack. They want to come away with some points here. Currently down. 28-13, uh, Hamilton Old Boys lead. And Hamilton Marist really need to come away with some points here uh, to make this last 15 minutes, minutes or so a real encounter. Yeah, just like the real problem we have at the moment, the same issue we had in the first half. No ball. Uh, there's, a, there's a Hamilton Marist player going right into the bushes just outside the security gate. <laughs> well, he has too, thanks Chris. He's if you told yeah. me that a little bit earlier, I might have actually got his uh, discovery on that. I must say, there's definitely hands in the bush there, hands in the ruck. Could be a penalty option there. Get on your computer for yourself there, Andrew. Thank you. We'll try and make it uh, family, family friendly. Hamilton Maris, here we go. They're going to go to work here. See how their line out drive goes. Oh, it's ripped away by Masarewa. Turnover time. Hamilton Old Boys now. Good go forward ball as it spins wide through Mason. They're going right out to the left flank here. Ooh, good cover defence tackle, but it's too high, the contact. And... Zelf seatbelt tackle. And an easy penalty there for referee Brownlee with the high contact. Chris, it's a pretty good game if you don't actually have to talk about uh, the referee's decisions. He's had a pretty good game so far. Yep. Uh, ben Brownlee's played, you know, really experienced now, like you guys like you said, and he's letting the game flow. Which is exactly what we want to see and what the players want to want to see as well. So, just nice, clear communication between the ref and the players is all you can ask for. Andrew, if you want to become a referee, what do they need to do? Um, I put you on the spot, haven't I? You could. Andrew, both the man to contact at uh, Waikato Rugby. Absolutely, I'd say probably head to the Waikato Rugby Union website uh, would be the first step. There's little uh, little drop down icons there. You can uh, find out all about the laws of rugby and also. You can um, register be to become a Waikato Rugby referee. And, and need it at all levels though, as well. 100%, yep. We're always short of referees and and um, most of the time we can't, especially when school rugby is playing, we, we just don't have enough referees to cover all games. And so we desperately, desperately need you to come and help out. So if you're keen, or even if you're not, sign up. How about an old boys now with the line out throw? But unfortunately, it is not straight down the middle. So I, I thought Ben might have made his one mistake of the game there because uh, that to me looked as though um, very much the outside shoulder. But no, he's across it. <laughs> ben Brownlee never makes a mistake, and he hasn't there on that occasion either. Well, I, I had a referee once say to me um, while I was refereeing to, I may never, not may not always be right, but I'm never wrong. <laughs> Spoken like a true referee. <laughs> Hamilton Maris now have a scrub option here from the not straight and uh, quickly folded in there, so we'll have a reset. 
Chris the first place seat of the game or have we had a couple do you think? No, I think that is the first one if I remember correctly. If there was one it would have been very early on. Very, very early. But no, I don't think there has been a reset, so it's been really good. I think there might be a couple of subs that might have may have come in, so they're just warming up. In the on the voice of referee Browning now as we get to the set call. <coughs> Good push here from Hamilton Old Boys, but Maris have just scrambled it out the back. And Hamilton Maris have earned themselves a penalty there. Hamilton Old Boys player going straight in and sealing off there. And, and who is it? I think it might have been Masarewa there that's been penalised. He's been everywhere. He's everywhere. I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> this is what you do. Can we release that song, guys? Just to let you know, guys, um... Well, no, we'll go back to the game. Hamilton Old Boys being able to keep that in. It's kicked downfield there by uh, by the halfback Johnson now. <coughs> it's in the hands of Harweta. Just in, uh, outside the 22 there of Hamilton Maris. They're spinning it wide now. Looking to create something here. Well, shut down by Hamilton Old Boys now, though. Come away to the left-hand flank again. A little bit of space here. The uh, open side flank in there. Trying to create some space. Oh. And another error here from Hamilton Marist. They did that, Chris, so you can go back to the point that you were uh, trying to announce before. Oh, sorry. I, I, I probably shouldn't, mate. I was, I was going to put you on the spot about your singing and your um, the music you were putting on before we came on there. Um, oh, yes, I was talking about uh, Jerry and the Pacemakers <laughs> and the Searchers. <laughs> yeah, well, I actually did forget that it wasn't the first time you'd heard me singing, even today. That's, that's right, mate. So you need to put that on your Spotify list. That, uh, the music that you're wanting to listen well, to. Well, no, I'll send it to Luke, along with that uh, couple of highlights he's had today. <laughs> you might have to have a word, uh, word to Osh here, uh, Chris, about workplace hazards, uh, if you have to listen to that too. <laughs> oh, no, no, sorry, Andrew, calm down, mate. It's, it, me, me turning up in general is enough to have Osh on board. <laughs> well, well, to be fair, you've given me a hat today, so that's probably um, that's your health and safety done. There's old boys with the scrum option now. <clears throat> Held in the back here by Masadewa, but the front rows have come up and then gone down. In, in, in an actual fact, the reason why um, we're here at Fred Jones Park instead of me being at um, Waikato Steel Fabricators Park is that uh, Joel, wasn't, Joel wasn't too confident on me being on the scaffolding there. So, you know. <laughs> well, Just a couple of forms. Potentially, if you were singing like that up the scaffolding, you might have a few people trying to shake it. So, <laughs> probably best you're over here with us uh, today, Bev. As we see another scrum reset here. <coughs> Look, we've got about 14 minutes to go, fellas, um, and, and Hamilton Maris need a bit of position. They need to be in the, uh, in, in the Hamilton Old Boys part of the field, so they need a big scrum here. Pretty Hamilton. stable scrum here from Old Boys as Johnson brings it off the back and comes the winger there. That is McConnell. Still with Hamilton Old Boys now. Had ruck time. Slow ruck ball now. They clear it away here to the uh, left, to the replacement fly half there. Which is possibly Joshua Blanky, if I'm saying that right. Josh Blanky, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luke Masarewa again, trying to get ball on hand. He's lost the ball forward, so. You know, he's pretty excited. He's won the ball in hand and wanted to make opportunities. He's just made a bit of a mistake there. Just want to touch on um, those folks that do watch Spurs broadcasting live streams. Um, much appreciated, folks. And um, I don't know if you know, Andrew. I know Chris knows because I told, reminded him. Um, I'm actually off to Japan at the end of the month. Whoa! Uh, for wheelchair rugby. Fantastic. Um, running World Wheelchair Rugby's social media. And I also had my name down as a as only a possibility, but it is a name down at least, for the uh, to commentate at the Paris Paralympics for wheelchair rugby as well. Wow! Congratulations. Yeah. Um, so I mean, what you know, doing this live stream, folks, um, it is twofold in helping out. Amazing stuff! What an opportunity! How long will you be in Japan for? Uh, just a week. Fantastic. Um, and it's no work at a rugby that I'll miss out on. It's a, a grammar tech home game that I'm away for. So. Amazing! What yeah. an opportunity. Enjoy yourself over there. Oh, well, mate, it's going to be 
definitely in a different experience. <laughs> how's, yeah. your, how's your Japanese, um, Beth? Uh, sorry, Gato, mate. <laughs> <laughs> as good as my as, as good as my kids, Japanese cuisine, mate. Possibly on par with his singing as. Uh, <laughs> Hamilton I'll say Mar a little bit better. Hamilton Maris now in possession of the ball. Through Hawera. They're starting to really throw some caution into the wind here now. As they come right out to the left flank. Some good aggression there shown by the centre. Who's been bundled into touch. But they're under penalty advantage here. So they'll come back into centre field here. For the penalty option. They might want to take this quickly. With just 11 minutes left in the game here. And Marist trailing 13 points to Hamilton Old Boys 28. It's been a very slow second half. Oh, what about the leg spin on that ball? Um, Is uh, Paul Martin there? Yeah, Paul Martin doing some ball boy duties. Afternoon, Paul. Here we go. Hamilton Marist, the ball in hand now. Quick little short throw up the front there. Spin out, uh, spin out the centre field now. <coughs> some real urgency shown here from Hamilton Maris now. Some good rough ball here. They'll need some points here. As Howard spins it again. Recycled well. It's out the back end. Oh! Van Dam. Says Dam. Strong under contact there. As the replacement player there Fino. comes back into contact. Finau. Oh, a good little dart from the halfback. He's got safe Sean through. Weir. He's found Van Dam on the outside. Oh, oh no, unlucky. Just couldn't quite connect there with the outside player. And the ball has found itself rolling into touch. An interesting fact about uh, Leroy Van Dam. He's played three matches for the Netherlands uh, side, national side this season, this year. Yeah, so that brings a bit of experience from him too. You know, playing for the Netherlands, whichever country you play for, any sort of uh, players Representation. That, yeah. And, and, and no, offense, playing, no offense to you guys, but three more than the, the three of us <laughs> put together. <laughs> well, just being able to play at that level and, and be under that pressure. You know, and then come back to the Waikato to do it in club rugby. You know, you can't replace that. Good Ooh. 24 for old boys has come off the field. Three men line up. They've gone over the over the back there, and it's claimed by Masaday with there beyond the 15 metre line. A 15 metre line. The line out's over. Johnson back to uh, the reserve fly half there, who makes a fairly good clearance there. Yeah, good exit play there. The boys um, were able to get some set of platform, get them out of their danger zone. Hamilton Mouse with the ball in hand now. They, they really need to score pretty quickly. Good uh, line out ball here. It's at the back there by uh, Hamilton Marist. They come away there now through the reserves. Possibly Will Martin with the ball there. Back towards the uh, left hand touchline there through Harweda. Finds Finau. Great tackle coming in. Strong defence from Hamilton Old Boys now as Jack Land takes the ball up. More strong defence. Maris still in position now, but not going anywhere fast here. Yeah. Penalty option there, quite clear. Hands in the ruck there. Taken quickly by Hawida. Oof, another crunching tackle there on... So the Hamilton Old Boys play, just getting back into the line. Just <coughs> quick recycle ball here from Hamilton Marist. Just be patient, build a bit of pressure. Ball retention's been really, really good as we head into the midfield here. For Hamilton Marist. Jack Lamb, hands off to Sam Poe. Under penalty advantage again, so referee Brownlee brings it back. Time is off here. The player down, not just looking too flash. Just in front there. That isn't Tom Martin, is it? 
might be. Um, looks like he's got a bit of a knee issue. It's pretty heavily taped. Just take the camera away, knee. folks, from the injured player, just out of respect for him. Yeah, hey, look, Hamilton Manor, they're putting the pressure on to Hamilton Old Boys, but their, their defence has always been ferocious throughout the whole game. And Hamilton Manor just keep on plugging away, kept plugging away, holding on to position. Because they need a quick score. They actually need uh, uh, three quick scores, don't they? Yeah, yeah, there's a bit of time pressure on Hamilton Maris now. With just six and a half minutes left in the game, but I'd have to agree with you, Chris. The Hamilton Old Boys certainly up front, haven't they? Their forwards have been exceptional today. Um, they've earned a lot of points through them, and, and certainly Masadewa has been a standout for them. Martin's having to come off the field with injury. So we're back uh, with the play now. Hamilton Maris have a line out here from the penalty now on the five meter line so just a quick update around the grounds guys uh, 58 21 check one earlier 22 20 Taramuru leading in 2019 Morrinsville are leading as Hamilton Morris uh, Hamilton Maris uh, knocking the ball on there at line out time just not quite going their way at the moment Johnson clears for old boys and another pretty good exit play, Chris. You look, those Hamilton Marist uh, lifters will be getting a bit of a talking to in the review session on, on, on Monday. Lost their role there. Jack Lamb was waiting for the lift, and um, nobody decided to jump, and nobody decided to lift. So 17 on for seven. Uh, Marcelino Valensky on for Taylor Ray for Hamilton Old Boys. Here we go, line out, Hamilton Mouse, Sam Poe, great take there. <coughs> they got the communication right that time now, as Maris come away with the ball. It's uh, in midfield with Harwood now, off to Jack Lamb on the crash tackle. Good recycle, quick ball here for Maris now, as they spin it out to the right this time. Good little one hand offload, but it's found, uh, it's found the ground unfortunately. Maris trying to recover this one, and they've given away a there penalty here. Yeah, they're trying to go wide there. Quick ball, trying to get it out to Lee Bristow. Unfortunately, Lee Bristow was trying to pop it over, and it didn't. Uh, it didn't fall into hand. It's gone to ground. The scaffolding I was talking about, folks, is the one on screen there. That uh, a few people are pushing up the right, pushing from up the right. Another injury break here, boys. Number 21 for Hamilton Old Boys, Joshua Blakey. Bob C. So it looks like we have uh, Hamilton Old Boys getting the penalty. They're going to try and get it out of their half. It's kind of uh, coming to a slow die end at the moment, isn't it, this game? Um, so the second half, time-wise at least, I mean, as exciting as it's been, the time just seems to have dragged. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, well, Hamilton Maris did put on a bit of time pressure and they're trying to force the game now. It just hit, things haven't gone to, gone, gone to, gone to hand. <coughs> yes, you've, it does become a bit of a challenge. It's a bit of a scramble rugby and that, that uh, scoreboard and time pressure has certainly played a factor into that and, and Maris have probably just needed a little bit of luck or something to go their way and um, it hasn't quite worked out for them today. On the back of some... Uh, Really strong old boys defence here at Fred Jones. The penalty clearance is a fairly decent one there from old boys as they uh, find themselves <coughs> about 30 metres out from the Maris goal line with the throw into the line out. Four minutes left in the game here. Hamilton old boys lead 28 to 13 over Hamilton Maris. And good ball off the top played by Masadewe. Spins it out to the back line through Johnson who has fumbled but it's gone backwards still in position old boys here they come away to the left again through Masarewa a little bit of pace out here good go forward ball as they rumble up over inside the 22 now on the attack here and yeah, offside, offside play and only by right. a couple of meters they're gonna have to go they're gonna have to go they're gonna give it wide Oh, 
look, he's done well to get out of that tackle. Helms and Marist. Trying to build a bit of pressure, trying to run from their own half. Another crunching defence there from old boys, but some enterprising play from Marist here. It's a bit of go forward now. Harwoday's got that step on again. Made a couple more metres. And another penalty advantage here. High, high tackle that call. How has um, refereeing it this season gone about having the tackles needing to be below the sternum, Andrew? Listen, I think it's uh, whenever they, they sort of change or, or re-emphasise a, a rugby law, there's always a there's always a bit of um, there's a bit of change is Thinking hard. About change, it. Is, change <laughs> is hard for everybody, right? It takes a little bit to adjust, and I think on a whole, the rugby community has been very very excellent at it. You know, it's coming on the back of safety in our game, and um, those changes have have seen the tackle heights lowered. And that's, that's good for everyone from a safety point of view. As Hamilton Maris now in possession of the ball. A bit of a scrappy line out one there, but they've come away with it. As they make their way up over the halfway line now with the reserve half back for Maris. Hawida taking the ball into contact now. Desperately in need of a try here, Hamilton Maris. As they make some more go forward here up towards the 10 metre line. That's a good, good run there. Some good go forward ball here for Hamilton Maris now. And another yeah, penalty another advantage penalty here. here. But Maris need to get the ball. Uh, Not maintaining body weight there. I've seen a couple of those today. Um, Chris, same question to you about the tackle a little bit from a coach's point of view. Hey, look, it's it's it's, it's the players getting used to it as well. They're just trying to you know, make an effective tackle, but they need to get their body position right. Yeah, so you know, you look at Dalton Papali when he was talking about. Shortening, shortening the steps as you come into contact and that's exactly right yeah you just need to get your technique right and make sure you're, you're hitting below the sternum and making sure it's a, it's effective at the same time personally from a commentator's point of view i don't think there's been a lot of change like i mean the tackles have been lower but players have learnt pretty quick there's a big gary allen there from uh, luke masadewa is uh, having a Maris game position now, just out on the 22 here, as they rumble up over. Might be uh, playing for pride here now, Hamilton Marist. It's a tout at the back by Weir as he offloads. Good go forward ball here for Marist. They come away through their open side flanker, Defel. More hard contact there from Hamilton Old Boys, even up to the last minute of the game here. <coughs> no, the penalty here. No clear release of the tackle. Look, I'm looking at uh, Nili Moana. Mo oh, Moana. Oh. Moala. Oh, here we go. Well, we <laughs> said Luke Rassaday was being involved in everything, but I think he <laughs> said something there. <laughs> well, he's covered all aspects of the game today, <laughs> Rassaday. What? Try, yellow card, as Hamilton Marist have the ball now. Just two metres out from the goal line. Here they go. They rumble yeah, up. Good try there. And Not low. Well rewarded there, Hamilton Marist. Had some strong position here in the last five minutes and they made their way downfield and cashed in with five points here. And that's rewarded. They need to take the, the, the conversion pretty quickly. But I think that that went to uh, number 17, I think it is, Will Martin. Yeah, I've got a funny... Oh, no, it was Will Martin that slumped off, wasn't it? Or was Will that Tom? Martin. Okay, no, yep. so it would have been Will. The conversion yeah, is the, unsuccessful. unsuccessful. They've got a couple of minutes left to go. They'll want to take this kick off the seat pretty quickly and look at going wide, I reckon. So, Hamilton Old Boys leading 28 over Hamilton Marist, 18. Look, Maris still want to be getting another try or, or a penalty to Looking for that bonus point. That bonus yeah. point, absolutely. It's only four games that they're playing, um, you know, before semis. Yeah. So, and also points differential as well. That's it. That all comes out, that all adds to it at the back end of the game, of the season, sorry. So they'll need to make sure they take this. Old boys now, restart from uh, Mason. 
that's there played by Hamilton. Good playing. Marist, I think, here. Yep, they've come away with it. And here they go, with, through Harwinner. Spin it out to your fast men in the backs. Good pace from Van Dam there. And they've found the winger on the outside. Little chip, but it's gone straight into touch. You probably can hear the uh, old boys player. That being a little, that's had excited about that one. <laughs> yeah, look, if, if um, the Marist winger could do that all over again, he'd probably want to keep that ball in hand. Full pressure. Now it comes down to the line out. Old boys just need to win this and kick this out. I think it might be the last play of the game. Oh, Marist, oh, take uh, it. Possibly going forward there off uh, having an old boys uh, hand. And Marist in position here. Good Amazing. barging run there from him. Too quiet. Quiet. Coming out the back here now. Oh, some numbers out here to Marist. They take it back through the middle again. Oh, oh, good little space. Well. Oh, two tackles. Not a He's too good. He's got the man on the outside yeah, and he finds him. Jack Lamb. Try time. Wow, well, the last five minutes has just been all Marist. Yeah, they've been hard to run it. Old boys are looking pretty tired. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's time available here, Chris, but if there is, this could be game on. Just a reminder, folks, the time we have is uh, just what we can do. Um, always in the hands of the referee and not definitely not saying that Ben's time is wrong. Um, more than likely ours. <laughs> No, Hamilton Marist will be very happy to get that that try at the back end of it. They've been very, very well. Funny Nui Harwena now with a somewhat important conversion here. This will bring it within three points if he's successful here. And he is. And that's full time. That is full time. Ben Brownlee says that's enough. Hamilton Old Boys victorious here today at Fred Jones Park. 28 over Hamilton Marist. 25. Chris, I mean, from, from almost the get-go, it was just old boys, one-way traffic. Look, Hamilton old boys put the pressure on straight from the kickoff. They scored the first try, and, you know, they, they deserve this one today. They, they put the, the hammer on, on Hamilton Marist, and, you know, they, they definitely deserve that uh, the win and, and keeping a hold of the stag trophy for the, for the summer. Yeah, um, and, and they've got a week, week off next week. They've got the bye. I love it. That'd be really, really good to arrest some injuries. On the other hand, Ham Hamilton Marist, I think the first half was probably a little bit of a letdown when they, when they had the wind. Um, they were down a couple of points heading into the second half, but they'll, they'll regroup. No, no doubt Craig Walters will have them ready to go heading into next week. So, you know, another game. And uh, Andrew Marist have Otrahonga next week, um, who have just gone down 20-25 to Te Amuru. Um, what do Marist need to look at? Oh, I mean, I think there's a lot of positives to take away from Hamilton Marist. It was a pretty good game of rugby out here today at Fred Jones Park. I mean, certainly the first half was a seesaw affair. Tries going back and forth. Um, and it was probably just, I think, uh, and you've got to give credit to the Hamilton Old Boys defence, really. That last sort of 15 or 20 minutes in the second half, their defence really stood up and just didn't give Marist the opportunity to capitalise. Um, and they've, they've obviously come home strong. The yellow card probably helped. Uh, having a man down and, and, and in some ways the scoreline potentially a little bit flattering at 28-25 but a lot of positives to take away from Hamilton Marist um, their back line certainly led by um, Pari Nui ha Hawera, um at times looked very dangerous and if uh, I was the opposition next week I'd be really looking to shut down Hawera and those outside players if, if I want to get some dominance can't really add more to it than what you two have, and especially with Whare, Whareanui Hawere, because you give him space with all that of Easter. Um, just looking at the other result, 58-21, Fraser Tech in their centenary, be beating Melville. 28-25, uh, Old Boys over Marist. It. We've just seen Otrahunga going down 25-20 to Te Amuru. Matamata clawed back to win 27-20. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, so the... Uh, Fraser Tech at uh, Melville game and the Matamata at Morrinsville in the Lone Star Championship, while the Otrahonga Te Amuru in this game here um, were in the Waikato Draft Premiership. Um, the other t university being in the Lone Star Championship, and Chris, sorry, I've kept going complete blank, Hotapu being the other oh, yes. Waikato Draft champion, uh, pre Premiership side. Anyway, thanks very much uh, to the both of you for your work today. Um, we'll try to forgive you about your... Um, 
and discretion's in commentary. <laughs> I have to say, it's probably a record for Bev's broadcasting, to be honest. No, it's been good. <laughs> really look forward to it. Um, and next week, folks, we will be bringing you uh, the Waikato Women's Premiership Final from Willoughby Park between Hamilton Old Boys and Melville. Uh, for more details, keep, keep in touch with Bev's broadcasting and or Waikato Rugby Facebook pages. Take care out there on the long weekend. Stay safe on the roads and kaki te